Hey everybody, I am CWT, and today I'm going to show you how to use the, the Face Ripper. Uh, if you guys don't know what the Face Ripper is, it's supposed to be an item that rips off people's faces so you can wear them as a mask. Which is mostly useful for those of you, for those of us who decided to play as a undead character. Because if you're not wearing a mask or something, or like a hood or something, then the people will talk to you differently and probably attack you on sight. So in order to first get the Face Ripper, you have to go to Fort Joy, the actual fort, the stronghold area, and go to the basement and find the guy named Niles. Now, as you can see here, he is on the floor right here. I killed him already, so I already have the item here. But there you go. I have the face ripper, right? So in order to actually use it, I have to go to a body and click on it and just grab it to someone. Grab someone's face off. Just grab and click. All right. Now, there you see I took off a human face. Uh, you have to do it four times to get the mask I'm currently wearing because you want, you want a human face, a lizard face, an elf face, and a dwarf face. Uh, let me look at. Let me see if I can find another, like, elf or something. I can't tell if that's an elf or human. I think that's an elf. All right, so that thing guy is now dead. So let's go ahead and use the face ripper again, and hopefully we get an elf face this time. We got ripped off elf face. So now we basically are almost done with getting actually, you know, making a mask. But unfortunately, you need a item called the source orb, which you cannot get until Act Two, I believe. All right, now we have all the components that we need. Although we are in Act 2, keep in mind that the only place I've been able to find source orbs are in Act 2. So, in order to actually, you know, make a mask, if you will, is to combine this with the source orb. And then you should have a mask. There you go. And now you can turn into a human. And you have to do this for every single race. So, elf, dwarf, and lizard. But, uh... Honestly, I would really not go that route. If you want to use something better than uh, the Face Ripper and get it in Act 1, the best place to go is back to Fort Joy. So let's go back there real quick. We're at the place where you find Fane's Mask. Fane's Mask is basically the Face Ripper Mask, but all done at the same time and you can get it in Act 1. Now, you have to kill this lady named Windigo. If you guys remember Windigo, she's the lady from the, I guess, the prologue. Where you, where she shipwrecks the ship with her source powers. Once you kill her, you'll get the Fane's mask. And here, let me show you where it is. Now, if you, if you're playing as Fane, or if you have Fane in your party, I'm not exactly sure what will happen. He might take the mask from you. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe he'll just be in your party. Again, I don't know because he's not in my party. But this is basically the ultimate result of what happens when you get a human face, a lizard face, elf face, and dwarven face, and then combine them with source orbs. That's basically it. And for those of you who don't know what exactly this does, let's go ahead and give this to Losa. Ignore that right now. And there you go. If I want to turn into human, I just click on turn to human. I'm turning myself into... Oh, well, apparently I changed my, the way I look, apparently, too. If I want to be a lizard, you can turn yourself into a lizard. And that's basically... This is the place you should go. If you, if you, if you find the face ripper, you learn about the face ripper, and you want to use it, I would say basically just ignore it. Just go over here and get the and get the Fane's mask, and then you basically have a fully functional uh, mask, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I understand there's a lot of frustration when it comes to actually you know finding this thing. I was myself very annoyed when I had no idea what to do with the face ripper. But hopefully now you guys know, and hopefully this will help you along in your journey. In I don't know what the name of this continent is, but anyways. I'll see you guys some other time. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, something like that, if there's any like specific, you know, items that you're curious about, uh, feel free to leave a, leave a comment down below. I'm okay with doing more tutorials, you know. I am pretty far into the game. I haven't finished it yet, but I am getting pretty far into the game, and I probably will finish it within the next month or two. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something. Hopefully, hopefully this uh, stops some frustrations from within you. But yeah, have a good one. Deuces.